Now let's introduce the idea of pitching. And pitching is basically making a presentation or a, a sales pitch uh, to sell your idea, sometimes to a customer, sometimes to an investor. So it's about describing effectively your business or your proposal um, in such a way that it makes an effective pitch. There are different dimensions to this. Uh, one is about brevity and being succinct. Uh, and then we can look at, you know, explaining the, through the pitch, explaining what's in it for the people that we are addressing. First of all, when it comes to brevity, you know, when we've all experienced it, uh, when we've asked somebody about their business and they've told us too much information, They've, you know, they've rambled on for five or 10 minutes about their business and what it does and what they sell, but they haven't really put it into a nutshell. And sometimes we can end up confused and, and none the wiser after such a sort of loose and rambling explanation. So it's always useful if you have sort of two levels of answer. If somebody really wants to know the detail, you can tell them everything they need to know and you can have a great time telling them all about the details of your business. But sometimes people just want a, a quick answer. And so it's useful to have a, a short and succinct description of your business ready on the tip of your tongue um, in order to do that. And then if necessary, you can move on to more details. And with that in mind, it's a challenge for you to describe your business in, you know, nine words or less. This is something, you know, I've read from Seth Godin, the, the marketing guru, who says if you can't, you know, describe your business in nine words or less, you, you don't have a business, which is, uh, you know, quite a, a tough challenge, but I, I can see what he's getting at. And so um, have a go, you know, it really helps you to boil down the essence of your business and to describe it, you know, extremely succinctly. It's a useful exercise to do because it really makes you think about what is important to convey in the very first instance, the first nine words. Then we come on to the idea of the elevator pitch. And, you know, this is the, the scenario in which you're caught by surprise um, because you're standing there in an elevator and right next to you, um, without any notice or any uh, advance warning, is a perfect investor. Somebody who you just want to um, get some money from, for example, or some investment of some kind. And there they are next to you. And you have the time it takes to go one or two floors up in the elevator to explain what your business is all about. And at this point, you certainly don't want to be rambling. You don't want to be lost for words. You want to have something ready. And this would be your elevator pitch, which is probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds to say what the business is about, um, what you're intending to do with it, why they should invest and what's in it for them. If you can do that in the time it takes to ride an elevator, then you've got an elevator pitch. And then when it comes to, you know, selling the proposal in um, you know, maybe a longer pitch, I'm thinking here where we might have five or 10 minutes to make a presentation to a group of people. They might be potential customers or investors where we have a little bit more time. This is a danger because with more time, there's the possibility that we might try to put too much into the presentation. We might ramble or we might tell too much of the wrong kind of information. So what I'm getting at here is that we need to focus very much on what's in it for them. We need to start with the end in mind. And I've seen so many pitches go wrong where they've started by talking about the history of the business. And we started 10 years ago and a group of us were friends. We had this idea. We set up the first office here and there. And it gets a bit boring actually, before they get to the final point, which is the crux of the matter, which is if you, the investors, uh, invest in us, you will get a fantastic return on your capital. That's what they want to know. And so we might consider doing things in reverse order, getting to the point of saying, 
here we have a proposal that will benefit you in this way. This is what the proposal is, this is what we, we intend to do, and you know, if you really want to know, we'll give you a little bit of the, the ancient history of our business. And the final thought is that there are different kinds of investors and it's fatal to have the same pitch that we try to use um, as a one size fits all for everybody. We need to tailor the pitch to the investors because you know, a grant making body will have different interests than an equity investor or even a bank um, or a group of friends or a crowdfunding campaign. So we need to be mindful of the audience we're pitching to and tailor our pitch for that particular audience.